Well, burgers have been a big fad in the last couple of years and I kept getting phone calls saying, are you guys going to change your uh, recipe or the way you cook burgers? And my answer to them and everyone is, no, we're not going to change and that's part of the secret to our success. Now, I'm Greg Pappas, I'm the owner of Andrew's Hamburgers in Elbert Park, a family run business since uh, 1939. Most people call me Andrew, but my name's Greg. <laughs> I started uh, when I was 13 years of age actually. I couldn't even see over the counter even though I can't see over the counter now. The Andrews Burger, which is the burger with the lot, is exactly the same as if you stepped into the shop in 1939. It's an old fashioned burger with the lot. It's egg, bacon, cheese, tomato, cooked onions, lettuce sauce, and of course Andrews famous beef patty. It's very important that you cook on great quality material. The heat needs to be right on your grill. You don't want to burn your meat. You need to cook the meat. You've got to light the grill, let it heat up for at least 20, 25 minutes. And then put a patty on, and once you get that sizzle factor, it's the noise, it's the sizzling, then you know you're right to go. I'm really excited about taking what we do here at Andrews Hamburgers in Elbert Park and trying it on a Matador barbecue. Today we're cooking the Andrews Hamburger with a lot. We've got our beef, we've got our bacon, we've got our cheese, we've got our onions, lettuce and tomato. We're ready to rock and roll. First of all, and the most important bit, is the beef. Oh, you can already hear that sizzle. Next thing we do, a little bit of onions on each of the patties. Press the burgers down. Not too much because we don't want to take too much juiciness away from the burgers. The onions keep the burger together and they also give a fantastic flavour and texture to the meat. We'll get some of this short rindless, beautiful free range smoked bacon. A couple of slices for each of the burgers. A bit of salt, a dash of pepper, and let the burgers grill away. As the burgers are cooking, you can see the colour coming out and the, and the smell and the flavours. You can, you can smell it and you can hear it sizzling away. It's got that brown type of crispy layer which gives the meat that crunchiness. The actual surface of this hot plate is unbelievable. Nothing sticks to it. And the heat that this barbecue creates, it's, it's absolutely amazing. So the bacon's ready to go. We just put this bacon on this warmer up here. Next thing I'll do is crack it, open some eggs. No egg rings on the barbie. Keep it old school. Next thing that we're gonna do, put some beautiful cheddar cheese. And putting the cheese on the beef, the actual beef cooks a lot faster and, and it just gives it flavour. One egg on this baby. The other one, that's my one because I like my egg runny. A lot of people in Australia always put just fresh tomato. Well, I don't. I cut the tomatoes a little bit thicker, put it on the grill. Not for long, maybe 30 seconds on each side. It just gives that, that, that real juicy tomato flavour. Let's just get these buns. We'll put them up here for about 30 seconds or so. Just let them warm up. Next thing we'll do, we'll plate up these burgers and we'll get into them. Who's having this one? People construct their burgers in different ways, but this is the way we've been doing it since 1939. Bang, voila. Andrew's Burger. Well, that's a sign of a great barbecue.